You have seen it in movies. You've read about it in books. Quicksand, a hidden natural phenomenon that can kill unsuspecting travelers. But did you know it isn't drowning in quicksand that will kill you? If you want to learn more about what is the real killer when it comes to quicksand and how it relates to recovery, stay tuned. I'm Troy Love, licensed clinical social worker, author of Finding Peace, Healing from Loss, Neglect, Rejection, Abandonment, Betrayal, and Abuse, and the president of Yuma Counseling Services. There's often a misconception that people falling into quicksand die by drowning. Although that can be the case, it's not really what kills them. Rarely do people who fall into quicksand get sucked all the way under, leaving no trace that there was ever a body. In fact, researchers have discovered that in wet quicksand, your body will actually stop sinking before your head goes under the surface. So if it isn't drowning, then what is it? It's the fact that you can't get out without help. Quicksand traps the person, and usually there's nothing close enough to reach for and use to pull oneself out. Thus, the person is left out in the elements, possibly exposed to unprotected sun, without being able to get food or water. Without help, the person will not die by drowning, but rather starvation. A person may even try to get themselves out, but researchers have shown that a person would need to have the same strength to pull themselves out as they would need to lift a medium-sized automobile. So unless you're from Krypton, chances are you wouldn't be able to do this alone. Similarly, a person drowning in their addictions or battling with depression and anxiety may believe that they can get out of the quicksand by themselves. The physics of quicksand teaches us otherwise. In order to get out, the person caught in the quicksand is going to need to have help. Someone on higher, more sure footing is going to have to help throw a rope or a long stick to help the person get out. And sometimes it may take more than one person to help pull the person out. There are some steps that will need to be taken in order for the person to be rescued. First, the person in the quicksand has to accept that they are stuck and they can't get out by themselves. Secondly, they're going to have to ask for help. They're going to need to ask for help from people who are stable and can help pull them out. It may be more wise to ask for help from someone on stable ground rather than from someone who is stuck in the quicksand right along with them. Asking for help from a higher power is another way to complete this step. Thirdly, the person who is stuck is going to have to reach out and hold on tightly as they are pulled out of the quicksand. The quicksand will try to suck the person back down into the pit, so the person is going to have to hold on tightly to the sticks or ropes handed to them in order to get out. In recovery, these rescuing aids can be working the 12 steps, doing work assigned by therapists, reading recovery material, and doing daily activities to enhance their own emotional, spiritual, physical, and social stability. See more about dailies here. If you have other examples of what it means to hold on to support, leave them in the comments below. Once a person is out of the quicksand, one of the keys to ongoing survival is to avoid falling back into the quicksand in the future. Rarely, if ever, will a person die in quicksand if they have someone willing to help them out of the hole. If you or someone you know is stuck in quicksand, know that there is help. There is a way out. For more information on getting help, please call us at 928-276-9535.